You can watch these videos however you want, but before we get started, I would just like to offer you some advice. To save you time, I tried to make these videos as tight as possible. That means we cover a lot of ground quickly. If it's going too fast, don't be afraid to use the pause button. You may even want to take screenshots. Secondly, I would like to suggest maybe two or three videos in a setting, or even a day. You could sit down and watch all of these videos in one evening, but I don't think that would be as conducive to retaining the information as watching a few a day. And thirdly, you may want to rewatch the videos, um, maybe a few days after you watch them the first time. So let's get started with some basic vocabulary. To get around the body, we need a few basic vocabulary terms. We need a word that describes when something is close to the middle of the body. We also need a word that lets us know when something is closer to the side of the body. When something is close to the center of the body, we use the term medial. When something is close to the side of the body, we use the term lateral. Other words we need to know are proximal and distal. Proximal is when something is closer to the center of the body. Distal is when something is more distant or farther away from the center of the body. We will come back to these words in a second. Let's look at the biceps. I think this is really basic knowledge, but it has to be said, muscles never push, they only pull. Knowing where it attaches to the bones lets us know what kind of action it performs. The biceps will be our example. It attaches up here and down here. When the muscle is activated, it is shortened, and so it pulls the forearm up. So if we know where a muscle is attached, we know what kind of action it does. When we talk about where the muscle is attached to the bone, we use the words origin and insertion. The origin is the proximal attachment. Remember, proximal means closer to the center of the body. The insertion is the distal attachment. And remember that distal means farther away from the center of the body. I don't think you need to study these words because we will use them enough that you will become familiar with them rather quickly but I just wanted to uh, introduce them here.